Welcome my gems! Happy Halloween! Or happy October! So, for the month of October, I am going to be doing the Tri-Wizard Tournament! Tri-Wizard Tournament! So, I'm going to have tasks for you guys to do every week. Those are the big three or four tasks from the Dry Wizard Tournament. And I have questions in here. So every live, I'm going to try to do at least three questions. And in the beginning, in the middle, and towards the end. If you guys get those questions correct, you guys will get your tickets. Alright, first off, I am going to do some sharing. I am grabbing out one question. I'll type it into our... Um, oops, sorry about the finger. I will type it into our pinned co comment. And I will get started on some jewelry. Okay. Also, if you want to be part of any of my groups, please let me know. I have VIP Messenger and VIP Group. Just say hashtag VIP or VIP Group. And always make sure you guys say hello down below so I know that you are here. And I can say hi to you. Okay, sharing right now. Do -do 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 -do. All right, VIP Group. VIP Hi And as always I want to let everyone know I only ship to the US states Um <laughs> group. there we go I lost my train of thought for a second All right, so now our question. So these trivia questions are Harry Potter related. How many staircases does Hogwarts have? All right, so I have our question there, and let's pin our question so you guys can see it. There we go. And I will grab two more out for later in the live. I'm going to be showing the rest of Miss May's
special pieces. Also, make sure if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask anything. So these pieces don't have numbers, so they're going by by um, keywords or phrases. This one is called Meteor Shower. So let's just call it Meteor. So here are the earrings. Look at these earrings. They are gorgeous. Let's pop on our bling time and it has some fingerprints on it. So let me fix that real quick. So here are our gorgeous earrings. They are the um, oil spill style. You have square diamond cut in them and they're this elongated shape. Now, also, this chain is super cool. It is your box-like chain. But it is, it has little circles. Let's see. Is this going to focus? There we go. But it's, these little circles are in a box shape for the chain. This is a longer style necklace, and here's our charm at the bottom. And <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Ah, there it is. I found it. Here's how this necklace is going to set. I love the oil spill. They are gorgeous. Again, this one is Meteor. Meteor. It almost looks like a Meteor So one of the things that I really have to be super specific about is putting my things in bags, just so everything is super organized. Also, I want to apologize to anybody if I have not excuse me, not gotten back to you, please send me another message. I am trying super hard to battle with my ADD. <laughs> All right, this next one is called Mild Wild. This one is super cute. It is a cute, a dainty style purple set. Here are the free earrings. They are super cute little bead earrings. There is three layers to this necklace. Dainty style chain. You have those purple beads here with some silver in there. One plain chain and then another little medallion style charm at the bottom. Let me get this cinched up for you. So you can see it better. There we go. Alright. 
So there's our charm. You have a teardrop shaped charm on the top with those cute little beads and then at the bottom you have a cute little flower. And let's go with this one. Wild. Oh, there. It's backwards. Wild. Mild wild because it is not very wild. <laughs> so I'm thinking about after like five pieces shown, I will do our next question. Also, for any of you that are watching the replay, please let me know you're watching replay and what time you are watching, if it's the same day, or else if it's a different day, let me know. Because if I get more at a different time or a different day, I can set that time. Because I would much rather see you guys live. That was weird. Felt like something fell behind me. Alright, next up is Catch a Falling Star. This one is amazing. This one would go with my outfit. It is your orange and maroon color or yellow whatever color you want to call this caution yellow also all of our hearts that you guys give me will also count for tickets for the tri wizard tournament Let's do it, um, excuse me. Trivia questions are going to be worth two tickets. Hearts are going to be worth one. And tasks will be worth five. All right. This next one has your tassel earrings. And these tassel earrings are in brass. So if you do not have any brass earrings, uh, brass tassel earrings, then you need to snag this one up. And I believe, yes, this necklace is on it backwards. It is a shorter length necklace. You have these cute, fat teardrops, teardrop charms. Let's pop on our lens so you can see these up close. So they have that maroon color and a shimmer of the orange or yellow. On the other side, they are that root beer colored brown. Those look cool even on the back side. Again, this necklace is called, let's just call it Falling Star. Falling Star. So this hat is really, really warm. I have the fan on, so it's kind of chilly in here, but I feel good. <laughs> All right, so that's number three. All right, now this next one is not a Miss Mays exclusive. I just figured it went with the theme. 
it is going to be number 79. I have two colors, one in orange, one in purple. They both have your... <laughs> I love you too, honey. <laughs> they both have brown cording. These beads are wood. The orange one has silver earring fixtures and also they have button loop closures. Here's how this necklace is going to set. Ooh, and that hurts my hand. So I have it in orange and purple. Number 79. Alright, that's number four. My wrist is really starting to hurt. Ooh, these ones are so amazing. Count your stars. Let's just say stars. These are silver and red star dangle earrings. Those would be so cool. They would, I want lightning bolts. Lightning bolts would be amazing. My little backs are popping off. Also, you know what? Let's... Hmm. I want to give you guys extra credit for doing it on a replay. But I also want you guys to be here. So let me know what I can do to entice you guys to play games while um, on replay all right so these earrings are gonna set right like this and they're super cute little just pressed beads so red stars there look I got red star sunglasses <laughs> I need to get some Harry Potter glasses. What do you guys think? Okay. Next up. Was that number five? Was that number five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it was. What are the real names of the four? And I tried to pronounce this, but I <laughs> always mess it up. I want to say murderous map, but that's not it. The martyrous map. What are the real names of the four martyrs? M martyrs. I don't know. How about this? If you guys get one, you get a ticket. If you get all four, you get four tickets. All right, next, let's go with purple. So this one is Gypsy Heart. I believe I have one of these, but I'm not sure if I have it in purple.
Oh my goodness, it is a tangled mess. I think I remember trying to show this before and it was just too tangly for me to untangle at that moment. But you know what? I think I just untangled it. So it has super cute little purple bead earrings on fish hook back earrings. There is four layers to this necklace. It is super dainty as I tangle it back up again. I need to stop using this hand. It is so hard to not use one of your arms or one of your hands. If you're not used to it, that is. All right. Here's how this necklace is going to set. You have a cute little purple section here. Teeny tiny little baby heart. There is a charm that has a warped look to it. And then you have your heart charm. And this one has a super cute little filigree pattern in it. I always like to say with these necklaces that are super dainty, they would be perfect for young girls. Young teenagers or even younger. And they're not going to cause any irritation because they are lead and nickel free. Alright, purple gypsy heart. All right, let's go with the ring. This ring is called Sparkle Smitten. Let's go with Smitten. I like that word. And this ring will definitely have you smitten. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it has different stones on each side. So there's the, a teardrop and then that one on that side is round. These baby rhinestones are a little bit of a mermaid look to it. So they have like an iridescent shimmer to them. But this is one gorgeous ring. Sorry, my, I need to figure out how to make my stand so it's not going to tip or move when I touch it. <laughs> Alright, this ring is going to sit on your finger, or it's just going to sit on my finger, just like this. Again, this one is smitten. Gorgeous. I still don't know what's wrong with my arm. So, we were thinking it was carpal tunnel, but carpal tunnel is usually in the middle part of your arm. Mine's on the outer side, and sometimes it switches. So, if you guys know of any ideas or remedies that I can help it, I like I put Icy Hot on it, um, and Tiger Balm, and I wear this like 24-7. Let me know. Okay, next up is another purple. This one. Just 
not have a name. Let's do purple. All caps. Because it's amazing. Look at this. It's braided purple seed bead. It comes with your stiff loop earrings. And this is gorgeous. You have silver beads up at the top here. It's going to set right like that for you. And it is amazing. I want to keep it. <laughs> here is a closer look at your baby seed beads. Kind of almost looks like purple corn on the cob. Mmm, that would be yummy right now. Who loves fall time? I don't really care for fall, but I like Halloween. I like October. Because that's the one time as an adult you can be a freaking kid. Sorry. I got a little excited there. I love dressing up. I love being my goofy, being my nerdy self, as my husband says. All right, so purple, who needs this purple necklace? Just so you know, on me, it's kind of set right like that. Purple. Let's get it back in its bag. All right, two more left. You know what, I will do the question before the last piece so you guys can have some time to write your answers. All right, this next one says called Warm My Heart. And this necklace is a mom necklace. So it has your super cute blue crystal beads. Still a very, very dainty style. Shorter length necklace comes down to your mom charm. Let's pop on our lens real quick. Now, it's going to be backwards for you guys because that's just the way the camera works. So, it has some fancy mom lettering. Those beads again. Very, very cute. I love it. And this one. Let's just call it mom. Excuse me. Mom. All right, last one. Let's do our question. How do you close the ma madar? And I've got the map thingy again. And I should know how to say this because I am such a Harry Potter fan. How do you clothe the Marauders map? That is our last question. How do you close the Marauders map? All right, last piece. This one is called Flirtatiously Flashy. Let's call it flashy. And I am starting to get goosebumps. It is starting to get cold in here. So 
So here is our gorgeous piece. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. It is a super cute pink heart. Your earrings are that same cute pink color. Shorter length necklace and this necklace so reminds me of, I have a blue one like this. It reminds me of the Titanic heart. Who wants a pink Titanic heart? And again, this one is flashy. Who needs this necklace? You do. Grab it. It is the only one I have besides the blue. Again, that one was flashy and I want to thank everyone that has popped on or is going to pop on. So, I am going to start our tasks for the Tri Wizard Tournament. I already did two or three of the questions. I have lots more questions in here. So be looking for those tasks for our Tri Wizard Tournament. I love you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Love you. Bye.